Hi, this is the fourth in a series of talks about trust is cheaper than control. I recommend you watch the first three before this, but they're not totally dependent. Let's take a look at the education system and find out how it, Im how it implements control and what the contrast is if you actually trust the kids. So if we take education, only certified teachers with PhDs in education usually can teach. And here I'm taking a, a stereotypical public school. Nothing experimental, I'll talk about that in a second. But this is where we've taken uh, the bulk of our schools. So only certified teachers teach in accredited schools. Uh, you, teach, you learn with kids your own age. The first thing we do is separate you into cohorts depending only on your age, and you learn with them all the time. You learn during class hours, plus of course we give you homework, lots of homework. You have to learn math during math class and English during English class. If you apply math to English, that's, that's weird, uh, etc. And then you uh, have to learn from approved textbooks. There's actually an entire controversy around which textbooks you get to use. Uh, just Google the Texas School Board uh, and you'll discover that they control what schools choose for about half the school boards in the country. It's pretty astonishing. And the conservative end of our government has figured this out. So of the 15 members of the Texas School Board, 10 are very conservative. That's why you get crap textbooks. Uh, now, that might be controversial, but we're not allowed to teach controversy in education. That has been whitewashed out of the classroom pretty much. And what you do in class has no real-world consequences. Uh, you're busy being surveilled by helicopter parents, you're being surveilled by the school, uh, you're being measured by approved tests so that we can move you back up onto the fish ladder for your next stage of approval. And uh, one of the many poster child companies in this business is Macmillan Publishers, which uh, whose textbooks have been, been getting more and more expensive over time. Uh, it's, the whole education system is really, a, <laughs> despite fantastic, dedicated humans in it, the system, the structures of it, are torturous and terrible and really bad for humanity. Uh, so there are many alternatives, uh, things as simple as self-directed learning, project-based learnings, open classrooms, the Waldorf, Montessori, and Reggio Emilia systems for educating, uh, a whole bunch of things called democratic or just free schools which are arising. The important thing here for me is becoming aware of what's called the hidden curriculum of school, and here school with a capital S. So uh, to give you an idea of the hidden curriculum of school, here's a glimpse into my brain, which you can see online at jerrysbrain.com. This is a thought called the hidden curriculum of school, where it says, look, only I determine what curriculum you will study. That would be the teacher. Stay in class where you belong. You need a hall pass to go out or a note from your mother. You can never be trusted alone. That's the message. Uh, we won't actually give you enough time to dive deep into anything. We're going to ring a bell every now and then uh, as a metronome to move around. We're going to watch you in all different kinds of ways. Uh, there's all sorts of things. To my mind, if learners can become aware of the hidden curriculum of school, they might be able to re-enter the very same school and be very different, behave very differently, even resist the, the sort of tractor beam of normalization uh, that the school system really was designed to, to create. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about this, I recommend uh, these other these two talks I've done. One of them is a TEDx talk from TEDx Copenhagen in 2012. The other one I did uh, I designed to follow on to that first talk. I did it for the Catalyst Week as part of the Las Vegas Downtown Project, which is associated with Zappos. And then down below is a snapshot of my brain. I'll put links to all these when I learn how to put links onto videos in YouTube. This has been the next chapter in Trust is Cheaper Than Control, uh, with implications that are deeply societal, not just about cheaper as in costs, like you saved money, uh, talking about education. Our next step will be talking about the sharing economy. All of this is part of a larger work on trust, uh, and all of which is inside of the relationship economy. I'm Jerry Mikulski. To dive deeper, please go to jerrymikulski.com or subscribe to this channel, a nifty thing you can do that will pay off in your life. Thanks for watching.